Jealous Yaku Yaku was reading a book while sitting down in the living room on the sofa. He was enjoying his alone time since Lev was away doing something exciting. He had told Yaku that he would be gone for a bit and then come back for him. The front door began to unlock and Yaku's attention was directed to his tall boyfriend who entered their home with a big smile on his face. Y-A-K-U-U, what are you so happy for? He saved his spot in his book with a bookmark and sat the book down on the coffee table. Yaku Yaku Yaku. Lev ran towards Yaku after taking off his shoes and picked him up by the waist. Oi, what's going on? He, can I take you out right now? Out? To where? Dinner. Lev placed his forehead against Yaku's and brushed his nose playfully against his as he held him up. Yaku's legs wrapped around him and smiled. Please? Fuck. Why is he this perfect? Sure, let's go. Yay. He began to swing him around. Ah, Lev you idiot. He put me down. Haha. Ha. Let's go get dressed. Wear something pretty. He finally put him down and they both went to their room to get dressed. He's acting so sus. Lev put on a nice suit that really looked good on him while Yaku wore a simple formal outfit because he didn't really have any full suits to wear. Oi. Why do you have to look so handsome? Everyone's gonna stare at you again. What? I'm sorry Yaku. I can change if it makes you feel better? No, dummy. It's fine. I just hate when you get stared at. It's so rude. Are you jealous? What? No. Yaku grabbed Lev's arm and dragged him out of the house through the front door. They began to walk towards the car. Lev opened the door for him which made him blush slightly before they both got settled in. Ready to go? Yeah. He this evening will be very exciting. Why? I'll show you later. It's a surprise for now. Okay. Lev began to drive to their destination and they had finally arrived at a really fancy restaurant and that surprised Yaku. Whoa, this place is really nice. He looked around. And you won't have to worry about anything. I'm paying for everything today. Nice. They were led to a table. I'm gonna order a lot just so you know. That's fine. Dot dot dot. Seriously Lev, you're starting to freak me out now. Don't mind, thinking face. Yaku continued to look through the menu to see what he would order. He ordered a four-course meal. While waiting for their food, Yaku noticed that other tables were sneaking glances at Lev. He would occasionally shoot glares at them in response. HMPH. Their food had finally arrived and they enjoyed their meals and chatted with each other. After Lev paid for the dinner, he stood up and held his hand out in front of his boyfriend, Yaku. Lev, may I have your hand? Yaku smirked as he placed his hand onto Lev's. They held hands as they walked out of the building and this made Yaku happy because everyone could see that Lev was his. They continued to walk down the street outside of the restaurant. Wait, our car is in the other direction. I know, I'm taking you somewhere else now. What? Lev continued to smile with Yaku's hand in his. They walked through the city. The temperature was perfect, filled with light breezes and the sun was just setting. It was a perfect evening. Tell me where we're going. It's just around the corner Yaku. It's something that I have been waiting so long for. Once they walked around the corner, Yaku saw what his boyfriend was talking about. There was a digital billboard on the side of a building with Lev's modeling photo on it for a popular magazine. There was a crowd of people looking up at the billboard of the handsome man with astonished expressions on their faces. Lev looked over at Yaku and saw him ogling up at him. Lev, what the hell? When did you? Holy shit. Do you like my surprise? Yes. I'm so proud of you. How did you get a shoot with Leroy magazine? Shhtus, shhtus, He jumped into Lev's arms and smiled happily like a proud boyfriend. He, my boyfriend is so hot and talented, I'm so lucky face with wide open eyes and flushed cheeks. Y-A-K-U-U, they shared a kiss and the crowd around them noticed what was going on. They began to praise Lev and compliment him on his looks and success. They were even asking him for his autograph. After the whole fiasco, Yaku and Lev went back home where they celebrated Lev's accomplishment. Ah, I still can't believe it. My boyfriend's face is on the side of a building. Hehehe <laughs> are you proud of me? I am. You should have been this good at practicing volleyball back in our high school days. Uh? Don't bring up those dark times. Pfft. Dot dot dot. 
Lev was currently laying down on his back with his phone in his hands, scrolling through his social media accounts. Yaku decided to snake under Lev's arms to lay against his chest and cuddle him. They laid in silence but enjoyed each other's warmth. What? Yaku was startled by the sudden outburst. Lev? What the hell? Yaku. There are photos of us from this evening that went viral, I could get more recognition from this. Lev showed him to posts. What? Who the hell took photos of us kissing? They probably saw how cute you were and how the sunset made the moment so perfect. I mean, it was pretty perfect. And I am very cute. Ha ha ha. Within the next week, the viral images of Lev and Yaku ended up earning Lev a photoshoot with another popular magazine. It was a big deal for Lev because this could be the start of a full-time modeling career for him. Yaku had been home from the gym and just got out of the shower from a long day. He sat on the bed as Lev bursted through the door. Lev, you always find multiple ways to scare me. Sorry, but I have really good news. And what is it? A popular LGBTQ plus magazine company wants me to do a shoot with them. They discovered me because of the images that went viral last week. My manager has already set things up and we accepted the shoot. Holy, are you happy for me? Huh? Of course I am. That's amazing Lev. They hugged and Yaku placed a big kiss onto Lev's soft lips. Guess what Yaku? Oh gosh, there's more? Yes haha. I get to bring in one person to view the shoot. I want you to come and see how it is from behind the scenes. Wait, really? That's actually very cool. I'd love to go. Yay. It's in three days. I already checked your schedule and you're available. Hmm. Okay. Dot dot dot. The shoot took place in the early morning. Although Lev was used to getting up and being active this early, Yaku wasn't. He wore one of Lev's hoodies and a pair of sunglasses to hide his dead eyes. He watched as Lev got his makeup done and noticed that there was another male model sitting beside him. He was very handsome and had a small, petite body in comparison to Lev's. Who is that? He stood up and walked over to where Yaku was sitting. Hello, Yaku was it? I'm going to be working with your boyfriend today. Hi, it's nice to meet you. They shook hands. This is a shoot I have been very excited to work on and I am so happy that Lev gets to be my partner for today. Your partner? Yes, he is a perfect match for me. And very handsome. You will see our chemistry later on. Lev suddenly approached the two from behind. What are you talking about? Just introducing ourselves. Is it time for the shoot now? Yeah, let's go. Lev noticed that Yaku couldn't keep his eyes off of him because of his hair, makeup, and outfit. Like what you see baby. Yes. PFFT, come on Yaku they're calling us. He began to drag his dazed boyfriend into another room where the shoot would take place. The set was nice and there were so many lights around a big camera. The director asked for the models to go on set and Yaku was excited to see how Lev acted behind a camera. That is until. At first, Lev and the other model were doing simple poses side by side and back to back. Then, they got into a pose that made Yaku uncomfortable. Lev was positioned on top of the other model and they faced each other with their faces close together. His arms were on either side of his head and their legs were tangled. What the hell is this? The camera began to snap multiple photos. Suddenly, Lev decided to brush his hand against the other model's cheek. Lev. The sudden outburst from Yaku shocked a lot of others around and he received glares and confused faces from them. S sorry. Yaku put the hood of Lev's hoodie on his head and tightened it in embarrassment and frustration. Ugh. I don't want to see this. He decided to get up and go to the bathroom. The shoot had finally ended half an hour later and Lev went to look for Yaku and finally found him sitting in the hallway. He was sitting with his head in his palms so Lev approached him slowly and cautiously. Yaku? You done? Yeah, the shoot is over and we already wrapped up. Oh, okay, let's go then. Yaku, are you angry? What would I be angry about? I don't know, you just seem upset about the shoot. Especially when you shouted earlier. It's fine. But aren't you mad that me and the other model got so close together? What do you want me to say? You want me to admit that I'm jealous because of IT? Well I am. Surprised Lev face. You are? Yes. Fuck you. PFFT. Don't try to make me feel bad because I feel jealous about it. I understand that it's your job. It's fine. Yes, exactly. But don't think that I didn't see your dumbass rub his face like that. The director didn't even ask you to do that. Ah, you saw that. 
Well I was trying to play my role correctly in the shoot. Aren't you a model not an actor? Oops. Lev pulled Yaku into his arms and hugged him tightly then placed many kisses onto his face. I love you Yaku. I love you too idiot. Oh, I forgot to say goodbye to everyone ahi. I'll meet you at the car then. Okay. Dot dot dot. One minute later. Hey. Thanks for that. Your acting skills are so good. Haha ha, thanks. I hope you're happy with the results. I am. He admitted he was jealous. PFFT, see you around man. I feel bad for your boyfriend. Bye bye. And Lev went back to his adorable jealous boyfriend. The end.